from protecting his net to now protecting his country. Winnipegger Sviatik Artemenko has enlisted with the Ukrainian armed forces as Russia continues its invasion of Ukraine. It was long expected, but uh, it just... It just didn't really kind of feel real at that time. Artemenko was born in Odessa before his family immigrated to Canada when he was two years old. He played soccer in Winnipeg and briefly danced with the Rusalka Ukrainian Dance Ensemble. Artemenko went to Ukraine on January 29th and was in Khmelnytsky for a trial with Ukrainian soccer team FC Podilia. He signed a contract with the club just one day before Russia's military attacked Ukraine. I'm a, I'm a diehard Dynamo Kiev fan, so that was my ultimate goal to make the team in, in in Kiev, but uh, with this war, goals and dreams have to be put aside uh, for, for the freedom and for for your people here, for, for your country. Artemenko played goalie with Winnipeg's Valor FC and was most recently playing soccer in Guelph, Ontario, where he won two championships in November. But the excitement of winning and signing a contract with the team in his homeland, he says, is now a distant thought. His sole focus now is to protect Ukraine. I think it would be super unfair for me to flee and go live my perfect life uh, in, in peace, uh, knowing that there's people my age here, younger, older, fighting, putting their lives down on the line. Artemenko says he's fortunate to have some military training. From 16 to 18, he was a combat engineer with the Canadian Reserve Force in Winnipeg. He tells City News he will not flee the country and will not stop fighting until Ukraine's independence and freedom is established. He says he's scared but is prepared to die. In our anthem, it goes, we'll put our soul and body on the line for our freedom. So that is exactly... This is the time to show it, and this is the time to prove that uh, your country is worth everything for you. So just be thankful that you, you have freedom and that you, you don't have bombs and missiles going over your head every couple of minutes. In Winnipeg, Alex Scarpa, City News.